This is one of the most famous fantasy paintings of all time by Frank Frazetta, and it's of Conan the Barbarian. It's a definitive look of Conan that most illustrators adopted afterward. Basically, um, he, he was assigned to, to paint covers for reprints of the, the Howard Conan stories, and these books in the 60s became such bestsellers because of his uh, paintings. And this painting, which I believe was on Conan the Adventurer, was uh, his, his most iconic. And in the 70s, I'll, like in the 70s, uh, when Marvel uh, reissued comics with the Conan, they had like a Barry Windsor Smith. So he deviated a bit from the Conan. But then when John Buscema drew him in the Savage Conan magazines, essentially uh, uh, Buscema's Conan is almost identical to, to uh, the influence that uh, Frank Frazetta here um, bestowed on the character. And there's a lot of resemblance. So when you look at the face and you've seen uh, reference photographs of uh, Frank Frazetta, you know, you see it in a lot of his characters too. Uh, they resemble him. Like he, his characters uh, were all often based on uh, his own uh, photo reference of himself. He was a very athletic uh, gentleman, and uh, so he used himself and and uh, kind of try to. I don't know if it was on purpose. Try to immortalize himself uh, through his paintings. But anyway, he used himself as some sort of reference. So I think he posed, maybe took photographs, and then from the black and white, he would use those and then make up a lot of stuff. So uh, often, like if you look at the abs on Conan here, it almost looks like he's got eight, uh, eight abs instead of six. Uh, he's often known for adding uh, muscles uh, just <laughs> to keep things exciting. Uh, it is fantasy after all, but it's amazing how he plays with anatomy uh, throughout this. And uh, I'm a big uh, lover of fantasy art because I grew up on this in a generation that uh, I guess was ending with heavy metal, you know, in the, in the late 80s and 90s. But uh, the fantasy art of a lot of these old-timey guys uh, were still prevalent, and Frazetta was still alive. Um, in the late 90s or early 2000s, he had a magazine called uh, Frazetta Fantasy Magazine Illustrated, something like that. And uh, so I had issues with that, and I studied uh, all these things, um, you know, with art artists, him and artists that were similar. So, um, also, I in my own work, I, I once did a painting called Golden Boy, and it was very similar uh, pose to this. So, to discuss the the techniques of my uh, copying this, well, I wanted to kind of follow. First of all, I wanted to follow in the footsteps of Frazetta, I thought it would be a fun little exercise because I never really drew this as a child. I maybe copied some other ones of his, but I thought it'd be a fun exercise to just kind of figure out what he's doing here. Uh, and the technique that I'm using is essentially a mixture of my own with what I learned in college of drawing on the right side of the brain. And uh, basically, I just follow the outline. So in doing so, I actually miss some things. Like, so in the end, you might notice that, you know, the likeness and the tilt of the head is not as good as the original. So he captures things that he can work, rework with paint. He's not limited by time as I am here. Uh, the whole drawing was about 27 minutes and I've sped it up here uh, for you for this exercise. 
So I'm just, I'm not trying to get it perfect. Um, also, this paper uh, doesn't really, uh, it's not that forgiving when it comes to racing. So there's a lot of interesting things. So yeah, I think if I was cartooning it traditionally and trying to build that uh, head, uh, I would, I would figure out the angle first and then go in and, uh, and, and adjust that. But here I just kind of copied the outlines and I, I got what I got. There's interesting things here in the arm uh, and the arm muscles. So I'm, this is probably my most excited part where I got really excited about, you know, what I was discovering, you know, the veins, uh, this forearm and the shoulders is really amazing. And the way he does the indent, if you look at the painting, the cut and the lighting on that cut across the tricep is just phenomenal. And then the, the vein and the way the bicep is pressed between his chest and his ribs is just incredible. And then what he does with the forearm muscles here. Also, he's known for do, drawing and painting the forearms kind of large often and uh, powerful. And here, there's no better example. The veins cutting across uh, the bones and going into the meaty area of the forearm is just incredible. And it, it was like, you know, I mean, most people when they look at his work are in awe of his talents. So uh, I'm, I'm like one of those people. Uh, interesting, his fingers in this hand are very, very long. So I did the same. Sometimes they're hidden by the shadow, so it, you don't get the impression that they're that long. But, uh, you know, big hands. Um, I think choices like this are what made his work so erotic in a way. Uh, well, obviously, I, there's the woman clinging to Conan's leg. I mean, that's very, uh, uh, you know, patriarchal, I suppose. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's very sexual. And, uh, and then the way he draws, like, the figure with big hands, big forearms, you know, muscular, uh, has gotten into fights. Obviously, he's a barbarian. Chains, you know, and uh, his big kind of flashy uh, thing is to go with intricate details of the swords and, and the gold, you know, the shine and, and realistic lighting. So it's just phenomenal. Uh, it was a great experience trying to follow in, in uh, Frazetta's footsteps here. Uh, here I'm trying to kind of go in a little bit more and shade it, uh, trying to fix some proportion mistakes that I made. Um, it's, it's not perfect, as you see, but uh, it's really the experience, and I highly encourage artists to try this with their favorite artists and see what they produce, follow in their footsteps. It's a great way to analyze and hopefully discover what these artists have discovered in their journey in creating these wonderful works. Here are the final touches. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time.